guys what's going down got some questions for you have you heard about that new bird flu or the well it's not new but there's a new variant of the bird flu um yeah so that's what's been going on lately so we're gonna talk about this today so don't go too far away come right on back and we're gonna discuss it <laughs> Have you guys seen any birds like dropping out of the sky? Because I've been outside several times and I've never seen any birds just dropping off and falling out of the sky. Haven't seen any birds dead on the ground either from this bird flu variant, but I'm hearing it's getting uh, a little bit rough. They just did a, a big uh, breakdown of all these birds and they put them in this building and shut them in and there's a special word for that. Um, anywho, the new bird uh, virus spread from migratory birds coming from from Europe. I guess they didn't see the don't come over the border crossing sign because the borders are open. Many birds carry the flu viruses a lot of the time, but it doesn't usually harm them. But there is that occasional strain that can that can get passed down to it from a domestic bird like chickens, ducks, or turkeys. And with the right mutation, it can spread like wildfire. 2015, we had the last big uh, outbreak of the bird flu. And we lost more than 50 million, yes, I did say 50 million birds. They were ordered to be put down nationwide. With this new strain, already 37 million birds have been put aside. Across 30 states, we've already been taking Farmer them out. stated on every morning he gets up, he looks at the sky, checks to see if there's any birds that are falling out of the sky. And that he doesn't like ducks or geese because if he sees them, he knows there's a problem. If he sees those flying over the head, then he goes and he checks the barns to make sure that they these birds that he has in his barns are still active and healthy because they could be having fecal matter that would fall on the ground and the birds could eat it and then they would become fecal sick. Fecal matter could contain that virus that we're talking about that we don't want the birds to this get. This new flu strain is very contagious. It could even enter a closed barn door. Yeah, a closed barn door. It could travel through the air ducts of the dust or the dirt, and it can also leave farmers completely on edge because they could have to get rid of their whole flock. Farmers have to check their birds daily and make sure that their birds are still active and healthy. So what do they do if they discover some of their flock not doing so well? Well, it doesn't sound too pretty. If the farmer goes to the barn and sees that his birds are healthy and uh hyper and, and still active, then they can breathe a sigh of relief and they've made it through another night. However, according to the Minnesota Poultry Testing Lab, scientists test over 100 samples a day for the bird flu. Using the same, same PSR, PC process for testing the COVID-19 uh, So test. the pro producers and the refineries and any other atypical health regulatory people have to decide if the birds are ill the fate of the flock of these birds. Um, they have to decide if it's a negative, it's business as usual, usual. If it's positive, then they have to remove the whole flock. And then the whole flock becomes depopulated. And the decision needs to be made as quickly as possible so that everyone can respond accordingly. So Jerry Torrance states, he's from the University of Minnesota, it's like we're in the watchtower and watching the lightning strike hit out in the forest. And so we're the fire spotters. It's really different this year in that there are so many more premises, more sites, more flocks already this year that were that they than there were in 2015. Right now there's no evidence that there is danger to a human being. However, last month an inmate in Colorado did test positive for the virus after helping remove several birds that were put Since down. Since recovered and officials stressed the risk is very low. Perhaps the greater impact of the outbreak on humans is to the wallets. The chicken and the turkey prices are very high, about 20 to 30 percent higher. Up. They're almost doubled since the same time last year. Well, the flu year. outbreak plays a little bit of a role in the higher prices 
so do other factors. Supply chain, the rising cost of feed, driven partly by the war in Ukraine. While it's true, a very large number of birds have been affected by the bird Ooh. flu. Birds represent a very small overall inventory. But if a producer that's been hit by bird flu, it can become very devastating. The virus is also proving very deadly on wild birds as like well. Like the eagle, who've been hit much harder by the strain than other outbreaks in the past. Victoria Hall, the University of Minnesota, says we've never seen this. Well, before. over 100 raptors have come into the center, suffering, suffering with avian flu, seizing and unable to stand, to. unresponsive. Only one lucky owl, which may have had a lower viral load, has survived. Not so clear long. why this year's outbreak is so much worse for wild birds than in 2015. And not a single rapper at, raptor at the center tested so positive. According to Dr. Victoria Hall, they know that there are species like bald eagles that have made... Back. Historically, now there's still challenges with things like, like that. Challenge with things. Another difference this year, many more backyard flocks have been hit by the virus compared to 2015. The CDC also recommends that poultry workers take steps to contain the virus. The farmers got to keep a close eye on the flock as avian flu kills millions of birds. So the one thing to understand about the agriculture is it's Outside seasonal. Outside Chicago, hundreds of birds were found dead in a lake. One thing to understand about agriculture is that it's seasonal. It takes seasonal. a while to build back what you had before after you had to kind of like reduce your flock. So migrating wild birds are being blamed for spreading the disease because they in are. Minnesota bald eagles are dying. Legislator has approved one million in emerging emergency funding for the bird. Um, flu. So the bird flu bird flu has been forcing farmers to kill millions of their flock. These are the ones that are egg laying that we need the eggs for daily food. Avian flu is forcing farmers to kill millions egg of birds from Wyoming all the way to Maine. And it couldn't come at a worse simply time. Simply painting eggs for Easter. We just went through the Easter phase and a lot of the kids were decorating the eggs. Has to deal with the spring season. But days out from Easter, Passover, you may have trouble finding all the supplies Several you need. people said they're just going to go buy chickens because they just spent eight ninety nine for a dozen of Wholesale eggs. Wholesale price for these eggs have nearly three times risen from last year. Passing $3 a dozen at the end of the year last the year. The cost of prices of eggs is basically, or not in part, by the bird flu out. Millions of birds have already been destroyed and put down. become any worse. Well, the outbreak comes as food prices are already on the rise. Already, the prices raised already by 11%. Butter is up more than 5% from last year. It's also up 7%. The USDA is predicting. Groceries could increase another 4% by the end of the year. Soaring even the sweetest of traditions. People will most likely be dying less eggs for Easter. To the rise in prices. People don't want to raise their prices. However, they have no, op no choices. Well, after surviving the past two years with the COVID-19 pandemic. Some consumers are confident they will be able to survive this too as they say they can weather any at storm. least we're not facing toilet paper shortages right analysts warn that we should really watch things at a close level if you cannot find the white eggs at the grocery store brown eggs are fine so we really need to buckle down and be more careful of everything going on because it's not just the war in ukraine it's not just covid19 it's not just the mental states of the people in the countries um, there's a lot of things that are happening in this world that just don't seem to pan out. And now with the rising costs of food, the bird flu, the food shortages, um, everything, we just need to just band together and be more, more cohesive with each other and more accepting. Um, so that's all I have here today, guys. If you like what you heard, please comment, like, share, and subscribe and just be nice to each other. Until next time, see you next time. Bye.